Hello, and what I want to show you today is kind of a new uh, neat website I came across called Use Cubes. So Use Cubes allows you to uh, have students or yourself design kind of three-dimensional things that can also eventually be made into a Lego type material if you really wanted to. Um, but the design part is the part I want to focus on because I think there's some really cool applications you can do with this. Now, when you go to Use Cubes, you can sign in. You can see I'm signed in currently up here. A student could do the same, uh, and they actually can sign in with Google by doing that. But once you sign in and you create your account, and like I said, if you are a Google App School, it's really easy. Um, you can just sit, hit sign in with Google. It does save the things that you make here, which is kind of really nice because there's been some other uh, kind of Lego ones around there, but they don't let you save everything. Now, once I'm signed in, I can actually go up to design. And once I hit design, it brings me to my little work area. Now you actually start with a blank uh, canvas. There's only the one single cube here that everything starts coming from. Now what you'll notice is that when you move outside of a cube, my mouse kind of changes. This allows me to click and hold so I can kind of drag around to get different perspectives. I can use a scroll to zoom in or out. But if I want to start building something, like let's say I want to build some ground, I can click and hold on one of the faces and drag it out. So I kind of get this cool little look. Now I can also drag it in a different direction. So if I click and hold, I can bring it this way. Or if I click on multiple blocks, I can drag them all at once. So I can build a base for something. Now you can do something neat like that. Um, I could maybe add something else to it. Maybe I can make it like a nice little beach. So let's kind of drag this out a little more. And we'll turn this guy around. Now it's, it's all... Oops. It's all neat and dandy that I've been making this kind of little thing, but they're all the same color. Now you can change that here in news, news Cubes. If I come up to the brush tool, I can pick different colors and I can click the blocks I want to color. And maybe I'll grab some little brown here. Oh, we'll go with this one for sand. If I click and hold, I can drip color them all at once. Now I can build up into a different dimension also here. So maybe if I'm going to build a little umbrella that goes along with this, I'll grab my black. I can click and hold where I want. Oop, and my brush tool is still my bad. Let's switch back to build. If I click and hold, I can drag it up. So I can kind of create uh, something a little different off of that. Now if I keep building, maybe, oh, you know what, I'll make that one taller, and I'll bring this out a little bit. Let's pull it this way. And let's see here, we'll come over this way. Pull that guy out. Oops. Now if you delete, if you have one you don't want, or a couple, you can click them. You can see all those boxes are highlighted. I can then hit remove. So it's really easy to remove something if you don't want it there anymore. One thing for students, you can see sometimes you gotta make sure you're in the right angle to get what you want. Now I was trying to make an umbrella and I'm not sure that's gonna be the best umbrella, but it's gonna be kind of close. Well, a little brush will make it kind of the beach red here. Let's color this thing up. And maybe we'll add some little white stripes in there to kind of give it that cool little color pattern. But the use of cubes is kind of cool. It lets students design different things. They can kind of get the idea of three-dimensional design in a very simple fashion. It makes something kind of really neat. So you can see that guy comes in there. Now, if a student can go a little further beyond this, one kind of fun thing is they can hit the blocks preview. And they can see what it would look like if they were to make it into their actual Lego block. I'm gonna go back out of this. When a student's done, they can hit save. They give it a title, beach. Now they can mark it uh, public, so other people can see it. Or they're, no, I guess actually marked private, or they can mark it public. Whichever way you would want the students to do it. But if I hit save, that little thing saves. Now, a student can share this, and one of the cool things is you can see there is a Google Classroom. Students could share straight to that. Or if you learn using any other kind of learning management system, if you click this guy, it opens up so you can grab this link. And you can also use that link uh, in Google Classroom also. 
and I see that comes in through. So it's really easy then to see your students' designs, and then, you know, however you needed to grade them, you most certainly could. So that's Use Cubes, a really neat little program that you can use to um, get students used to the idea of three dimensional design. Thanks for watching.